I'm curious. This is a, a, a personal question. How did you build your, your network, you know, with when it comes to meeting people like Dan and, you know, Craig Ballantyne and, you know, uh, rooms like Ed Milet and Patrick Bray David, like for someone who's just starting now, it's like you're who you are. So a lot of people just find you yeah. almost a lot of times. Yeah. But for someone just starting off, you know, going to these different masterminds and workshops and stuff, how does uh, somebody get started to building a network? Do something that's noteworthy. Like the people who I was trying to meet had already heard of me because, oh, you're the guy that started Fit Body Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I saw an Inc. 500, Inc. 5000, Entrepreneur Magazine's fastest growing franchises, Fit Body Boot Camp. I didn't connect the dots that that was you, Bedros. Like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. So people will take notice. And some of the people were like, yeah, man, I, knew, I know who you are. So I just had to go to an event as a guest. Right, like, right. I literally bought a ticket and would go to an event. Like, hey, whatever, Bob, you know, nice to meet you. Like, wait, you're Bedros Cool, you know, Fit Body Bootcamp? Yeah, I started Fit Body Bootcamp. Oh my God, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm a big fan of your content and want to learn. And, you know, before you know it, they're like, hey, let me put you on my podcast or let's do something together. Mm -hmm. People want to be brought into a network without having any value to add. It's mm -hmm. almost like if we start a tribe, if the world went to shit, if China, God forbid, drops a nuke on us, right? And like, whatever, several thousands of us survive, mm -hmm. but the rest of America is gone. And like, we're like, all right, we need like a little 50, 60 person tribe. Cause that's all the building can handle in terms of this is our living space. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not just going to take any random 50, 60. You're literally going to be like, you're picking a team on a playground for basketball. You want the best people, <laughs> right? right? right. Uh, who can hunt? Who can kill? Uh, who can speak? Who can keep things organized? Is there a doctor? Does anyone have any medical skills? Like, I want to get the best skill sets. That's how a network is. Like, I show up with so much value, okay. right? So I, you know, hey, Ed Milet, if you ever want to franchise something, I can help you franchise. Hey, so-and-so, if you ever want to, you know, great copywriter. Uh, one, I'm a great copywriter. Two, I know some of the best copywriters on the planet. Show up with so much value, buy tickets to their events, put money in their pocket that way. Um, I always, when I did buy tickets, uh, now thankfully I get invited to speak at these events. By the way, uh, those of you that are going to the Limitless event this weekend in Utah, I'll see you mm -hmm. guys there, 12,000 person audience. Um, the Muscle, Keaton, uh, and Dan Fleischman are holding this event at some place in Salt Lake City, some arena. Uh, that'll be an awesome event, but go to these events, buy the VIP tickets where you get the meet and greet opportunity, you get to spend time in proximity with these people, and then instead of just vomiting at the mouth like how awesome they are, like, let them know, like, what you do and make sure you do something noteworthy where they're like, fuck, man, that's mm -hmm. impressive. Like, we should do business. Like, these are all friends trying to make money with friends. And you might be like, well, I just want them to be my friend. Sorry, bro. We don't have time for that. We like making money and we right. do a lot of good with our money. I donate my money to Shriners Children's Hospital. I donate my money for Toys for Tots every Christmas. I donate my money to, I've got 97 kids adopted through Compassion mm -hmm. International. I give myself and my family a really good fucking life. I pay my employees really well. And so guess what? I like making money and I like making money with friends. And so mm -hmm. if you ain't got nothing to, for me to make money with and you're not interesting in any other way, there's nothing noteworthy about you, then I don't know what to say. Like you're just a bump on a log, like develop a skill, be known for something and start figuring out how we can make money together. All right. So you're opposed to like, if somebody wants to join your network, just wants to like pick your brain. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to trigger you. I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm I just playing. slammed the laptop and walk out. <laughs> don't ever DM B and ask if you can pick his brain. I'm just letting you know now. My right? favorite is like, can I buy you coffee and pick your brain? <laughs> People pay me a hundred thousand dollars a year to pick my brain. I don't need your coffee. Plus, and I know people are gonna be like, oh, well, I thought you were a generous person. I generously do this for free. I'm putting out free a YouTube <laughs> right. live right now. We put up like huh. two to three pieces of content every week on YouTube. We're, we're fucking pumping out content every day on Instagram. That uh -huh. is me coaching and serving you for free.